Hello Trendlikers. Today I will be teaching you how to build your own fuel system in your own car. You see with this example I got here. I have made this car over the past couple days, 1.9 has been out. This little gauge in the front of me detects how much fuel I've used. How this car works is it detects how fast you're going and that's how much more fuel you're going to use. So it just takes pure logic to do this. You can see the gauge out goes faster, the more fast I go. When I stop, I don't consume any fuel. There is a couple things about this car that I need to fix. Like, it won't make me use any fuel when I go backwards, and it won't detect when I'm not pressing W. But this is just this car. This is my car. I'm still working on it. But I will show you guys a nice template for you to use today. Okay, with this video, it is for beginners that are new, kind of new to Logic. So I want to make it as simple as possible for people to make fuel in this video. I'll probably make another video about an advanced fuel system or just a better one in general. So if you want to watch that after this, that's fine. But this is how I'll be teaching new players, kind of new players, to uh, make fuel systems. So I'll be going over these three cars one by one. Okay, so we're going to be starting off with the simplest version here. Just so you can see what's going on with all of this. So how this one works is it just detects your speed. So when I'm going forward, it'll consume... If I'm going over 10 miles per hour, it'll consume fuel. You can see on the accumulator block and my distance sensor in front of my seat. So it will detect when I'm going above 10 miles per hour forwards and 10 miles per hour backwards. Now I'll be showing you how to make this in today's video. Let's get straight to it. So you just want to grab yourself a little car here. You don't have to make one if you don't want to. Just make sure it's simple enough to mod for your logic. Make sure there's a lot of space. So I like to start off with a four block platform using these big slab things, the four bytes. And then you just get some basic controls as a regular car. Okay, so I've made a simple little car. Let's get out of the shade here. As you can see, this works fine, perfectly fine for what we're going to use it for. I use two engines because, yeah, you don't need to use two engines. I'm just using them because more power. Okay, now to start with your car's logic. So you want to go over to the logic section and scroll all the way to the right and grab yourself an accumulator. Just put it anywhere you want. I'm going to put mine in the middle here. And then you want to configure your accumulator block and set the minimum that you see here to zero. This scale number we will talk about later. Now you want to grab yourself two speed sensors. One facing forward and one facing backwards. Now you want to select both of these and configure them at the same time. And then you want to set your speed down here to 10 for now. You can adjust that later. Once you have those down, you want to grab yourself these comparison logic gates. So just want to grab one for right now and configure it. This threshold number needs to be the same as the maximum on your accumulator. So I'm going to do 100. Set the comparison mode right here to equals. Once you're done with that, you just want to copy this three more times. Like that. Before we go any farther, you want to configure your speed sensors again and hook them up to the accumulator block. Once that's hooked up to the accumulator, you want to hook up your accumulator to the comparison logic gates. Make sure you select all of them. Once you're done hooking all those up, you want to grab yourself two OR gates and two XOR gates. So I'm just going to put these on the edges. And two XOR gates right here. And now you want to get these two comparison logic gates and uh, hook them up to one XOR gate. And then the other two come up to the second XOR gate with one of the logic gates. Put this green arrow right here to W. And then hook it up to the XOR gate next to it. And then with the second one, you just want to put S. 
on the green arrow and then hook it up to the other XOR gain. And now, once you're done with that, grab both of your XOR gates and hook them up to the engines. And since this has a negative input for the engines, you want to put negative one on this side. So now, this should be working. Oh, I forgot to turn up the scale on the accumulator. We can talk about this now. This will increase the gas usage, how high it goes. So I'm just going to put mine 50 for testing right now, even though it's not very realistic. You can see. So I'm already out. And look at that. I can't drive anymore. Isn't that cool? So with this car, basically what it's doing is it detects if you're above 10 miles per hour and consumes fuel if you are. This is the simplest version of fuel for your car. Now we will be moving on to the second version. With this version, it's just going to consume fuel with W and S when you're going forward or backward. So to do that, we will need an AND gate, two of them, and then unhook each speed sensor from the accumulator and put them into their own respective AND gates. Like that. Once you've done that, you want to hook each AND gate into the accumulator. After that step is done, you want to grab yourself another OR gate and put it next to your speed sensors. And grab your W and S gate from earlier and hook them up into the OR gate you just created. And then that OR gate goes into both AND gates. And boom, that is done. So now when you're pressing your gas, in either direction, it should use up your gas. So that was the second more complex version from the other one. Now we're moving on to the third one. So we're going to get the uh, version 1 car and modify it for this reason here. Okay, so to start the logic of version 3, you basically just want to copy these speed sensors over one for how many uh, like steps of miles per hour you have. So let me show an example. So I just copied my speed sensor sets three more times. This means I will have four stops at which it'll increase my gas usage. So if you know how the shifter works in like real life or racing games, you can choose where you want another shift to happen. This is basically what it's doing. It's just getting what your speed is at. So if I'm going 10 miles per hour, then it'll use just a little bit of gas. If I'm going 20, it'll use more gas. If I'm going 30, it'll use more gas. If I'm going 40, it'll use more gas. So it's just using more gas the faster I get, especially going backwards. So just copy however many rows of speed sensors you want and set them to, you can copy mine for now if you want. So I just have this first row on 10, and then the second row on 20, and then I have this third row on 30, and I have this fourth row on 40. That is how I set mine up. And then all of these are hooked up to your accumulator. And then boom. Oh, I also added this number display, just so you can see the amount of gas you have left. All you need to do is go to right here, bring it up, hook it up to the number display, and boom, it'll be good. Now I'll show you how it works. See how it's using more fuel the faster I go? If I slow down, go behind, or turn the scale down. And see, my vehicle has a lot of acceleration, so it's kind of hard to tell. But each speed sensor that triggers takes away more fuel. So I'm using maximum fuel right now. There are other ways to do this, and I will cover them in my next video. This is as basic and simple as this fuel mechanism can get. You can adjust these speed sensors to whatever speed you like. You can have them so it's like 0.1 for the first one. And then it's like 0.20 for the second one. And then like 0.30.
Accenture. So it just keeps like doubling in speed, doubling in gas usage. So it's basically multiplying it. And then if you do lower it, you just need to up your scale. And up it to like 25. So you can see it's using a lot more gas each step because it's multiplying it basically. And there you go. That is your configurable speed based consumption fuel system. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it helped. If you need me to explain it better, I can help in the comments. Or if you have any questions about anything, I will feel free to help you. Comment down below. And yeah, peace.